The Informal City by Brian Hall and Jackie Labanca. A study of urban think tanks, Metro Cable Car, in San Agustin, Caracas, Venezuela. In all urban cities, transportation throughout the region is an essential part of the city's functionality. Transportation is what allows the people who reside in the city to commute to work, visit family and friends, and be able to obtain the resources to cater to their everyday health and intellectual needs. As cities have developed over the course of history, the implementation of highways and major roadways has displaced existing buildings and homes in order to accommodate growing vehicular traffic. The 40,000-person town of San Agustin in the city of Caracas, Venezuela, has been, up until recently, ignored by the Venezuelan government. The Caracas city map had not even displayed San Agustin as a town within the city, but what had become favelas, or slums, was at risk of demolition because of the desperate need for a major highway to connect to the city. The average travel time through the mountainous terrain outskirts into the heart of Caracas from where much of the population lived to where they worked took upwards of two and a half hours. The implementation of a major highway linking the city would nearly demolish one third of the homes in the San Agustin favelas. In efforts to ease the protesting that had occurred with the idea of a major highway, Architects Alfredo Brillenborg and Hubert Klumpner of Urban Think Tank developed a cable car alternative that would link the towns of Caracas and bring prosperity to the favelas. The development of the Caracas Metro Cable was configured to be built on stilts as to limit their invasive footprints and flexibility constructed throughout various areas as to serve the greater public. The concept of the Metro Cable was to span a 2.1 kilometer long arc with five multifunctional Metro Cable stations. What was once a two and a half hour commute would now become 20 minutes with the use of cable cars. Each cable car could hold up to eight passengers and move approximately 1,200 people an hour in each direction through San Augustine. The Metro Cable stations were to be of modular construction. The standard structure base was 65 and a half feet by 131 feet of concrete and steel roof deck which allowed the stations to be built into crowded neighborhoods without displacing the surrounding population. The specific program of each Metro Cable station was designed to specifically cater to the needs of its immediate neighbors. By using the concept of buildings and blocks emerging from the bottom up the stations worked similarly, having multiple levels and passageways as it raised the terrain. Each of the five would have similar components, such as platform levels, ramps for access, circulation patterns, materials, and structural elements. Additional functions of the differently configured metro cable stations would include 40 replacement units for demolished homes, supermarkets, a daycare center, gym facilities, public spaces, and connections to existing municipal buses. The Metro Cable was not only an asset in providing a solution to the transportation and limited access to resources within Caracas, but it also contributed to the decline in nearby crime. While Venezuela has one of the highest crime rates in the world, since the implementation of the Metro Cable, crime has dropped because surrounding criminals fear being seen from the height of the car alternative. As Brillenborg has said in a recent interview, the cable car is not viewed as a solution for all the problems these communities are facing, but as the base for the solution, an infrastructure for social change.